Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together the propeller baseball hat, which is a hat and a box from Simply Crafty SVGs. So here's everything I cut um, and additional items like beads to make this little propeller hat and the little box that it sits on. So it's something like this. So this is a rough version of it because it was a test box. Um, I didn't do a final. And obviously we're using different colors, but this just sits on top to make it a box. Just a different idea of a box, but you wouldn't have to use this if you just wanted to do this for fun. And like attach a gift card or something like that. So as you see, we're going to make it more colorful, but the little propeller spins. So let's go ahead and put that aside. So what we'll start by doing is we're not going to put the box together because it's kind of an optional thing that some may not want to do so we're going to do that till later. I am using some cake pop sticks for the part for the uh, the propeller so once we get to that that's what I'm using. The reason um, you can use um, <clears throat> something like skewer sticks because they're about the same size. <clears throat> Excuse me. However, uh, it, these are so much easier to cut because it's cardboard rather than wood. And uh, skewer sticks can do damage like that. I actually um, poked myself with one. I was just leaning on a table and I didn't realize there was the pokey part. So be careful with those if you use them. And when you cut them, they go kind of flying. So anyways, I'm going to put that aside. And I kept all my little pieces in here. So we'll, we'll get those when we're to that point. So we're going to take all these colored pieces here. So this is the brim. Mm. There's these inside panels, the one without tabs. I made them red. Of course you can make them any color, but it's supposed to hide the tabs inside. So that's, those are there. We're going to put those aside. So what we're going to do is put the sides together first and then uh, we'll put that on after. And I like to put it in the color of the rainbow. But it's up to you how you want to do it. So I have it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So with the, each of them before you start, if you could curl them a little bit to help with the curve, you could do this on the side of a table or in some other way. And that just helps to um, First of all, I eliminated the, the scores so we don't have it choppy looking, but this makes it more rounded. What's nice about this box is that you could, um, the box or the hat, I know it's small, but you could use it for, as just a regular baseball hat if you eliminated the propeller. So now that we get these all ready, we'll just have to make sure too that you I'm going to go through and just do these as I go to each piece, but you might want to pre-fold all these on the scores. And I'm going to start with red. It's just so I can keep them in the, in the order I want them. But, you, you know, you can do two colors, you know, half and half, whatever colors you want, really. Although the file is separated in these colors, so, or you can make them all one color as well. So if you haven't done a lot of uh, rounded things before, I'll usually say just take one side, match up this edge, and you can see that little section. We want to match up these little score lines here. I'm going to just go ahead and anchor this top one on. Now the other thing is, since I'm not putting a panel on the top, is we want to make sure that we're really be careful with our glue. So I have a little wet piece of uh, paper towel, a little square that I can use to get any excess glue or to maybe wipe my fingertip off. And then you can go ahead and this is rather small. I mean you can actually add glue to all the tabs at once. Some, if you're not used to doing this particular process, might want to just add it to a couple at a time, but you get used to it. Once you're used to it, so you can see I'm just being careful not putting the glue too close to the, 
the fold or the score. So we'll just go from the top to bottom. And you see it's just attaching one at a time. And when you're lining it up, you can always put your finger over it to help line it up so you're not too high. This edge doesn't go too high. And just line it up carefully when you get to the bottom. So I just kind of inched it down. So if we go in order and we line it up at the top to start with, okay, then it should fit just right. So I'm going to show you another one while we're going to go through this again. And then you can just watch me put the rest on. So again, anchor one, the top one. Lining up this little fold right here to this one. That's the, probably the most important part is try to get that lined up. The other thing about this design, as you're watching me, is you could just omit the little bill all together and uh, can make a, a beanie hat like in the day. Oh, they're not too popular today, but I'm kind of a geek, so I've always liked the beanie hats. I had one at one point. Actually, I think I still have one. It's in storage somewhere. Leave it to me, I'll have one. But I like geeks, smart people. Well, I like every people, but you know, the overlooked geeks that just know a whole lot about things that not everybody's interested in. Of course, I'm kind of techie, anyways. Okay, so we're going down again, and then I'm making sure I'm just wiping my fingers off. Because, you know, you can wipe the glue with your fingers, but be really careful because some glue uh, you could be allergic to. So be careful with putting too much glue. I had a, believe it or not, one finger that had an allergic reaction. It was only one part of one finger, so who knows. But I did talk to the dermatologist and I said that's a common thing. But I can't do anything without with gloves on or anything. So anyways, just keep my fingers clean of it. So we're halfway done, so I'll go ahead and finish it. You can just uh, watch me as I do that, and I'll come back for the next step. Okay, so I'm back, and if you were watching, uh, you can see that, or you might have seen that I had a little bit of an issue where I didn't have the colors in order, so make sure you have the colors in order, so fortunately, I almost put the purple next to the green, which is not the correct order that I wanted, but I caught it, and I was able to pull it off before I had to recut anything, because, you know, that can ruin a whole project, <laughs> so um, anyways. 
I wanted to show you because I know this is probably the hardest part about doing these designs is kind of closing it up. So the one thing that I find works, I'm going to put glue on all of these at once because this is not that big of a, a design. The thing I usually worry about putting glue on too many tabs at once is that I'm not fast enough before the glue dries, which is possible. But what I'm going to do is glue this one and this one and then we, we'll just leave off. We can just leave, put the glue on all of them and then I would just kind of, as I get these two set, then I just kind of push those in and apply pressure. And it's just a little tip that sometimes works better with these kind of openings. Let's get this out of my way. So I'm going to just be careful again with the glue. Yeah, I wasn't happy when uh, I was put in the wrong order. I thought I put it in the right order, but apparently I wasn't paying attention. It's not a good thing when you're doing a video assembly. Or something. What do you want to call it? Okay, so we're going to carefully put that under and then breathe for a minute. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get this one lined up. And it might, the bottom might be easier to start at the top. I'm kind of pushing in and applying pressure on the bottom there. And there's a little glue on that tab there, but I don't care. It's on the tab, it's not on the, the panel. So we're good. And then I'm going to go in attach the last one here, line it up. Just, I want to hold it for a couple seconds to make sure it's in place. Isn't it beautiful? So now you see those little, these uh, panels in here. I'm just going to go one by one and apply pressure and just making sure it's good and lined up. So now we're not going to put the uh, the bill on quite yet. What we want to do is I'm going to put the stick in and the reason I want to do the stick in now is because I don't want to be messing with this too much. It, the stick won't get in the way. So it doesn't really matter. You can try this first or you can do this. But I'm going to do this one first. So now I'm getting the pieces that I need. So it's this one that will go on top. This will go on the inside. Yours may be a little bit bigger than what's shown right here. And this is just a little reinforcement for some reason. I mean I do recommend a... Uh, I use American Craft uh, cardstock just because it's uh, pliable, it's textured, has a good texture to it, and it works well, it's easy to bend, that com kind of thing. Um, so that's that, and then we'll be working with this later, but as my um, my heat gun's warming up, um, they'll put this aside. Those will be things we'll be putting on to the propeller later. So before, just to get prepped, you can go ahead and Curl this a little bit. You can do it on the edge of a table or you can do it with your your fingers. This will be probably a challenging piece for some to put on. Um, it does take a little patience, but I'm just trying to get a little curve. Not much, just a little. And then to pre-fold these. So they're gonna glue to the inside, but I'm gluing down, I'm gonna fold them down first. and then we can fold them back. Just be careful around across the edges here, the end pieces. Be careful about how you fold it. I'm just kind of making sure and then the other one should fold back okay. Because they're going to glue to the inside of the hat. So sometimes just taking a minute to prep something. And yes, you do. Uh, it is recommended you have a glue gun for this next piece because it's really, it took me, it was a little bit of a challenge to figure out how to pr put the propeller in. But in order for it to sit upright, it's going to be the best situation to have a glue gun that will glue it quickly. 
So while we're doing, we're going to wait. We're, we're almost there. We need to put this on first. So I don't like to waste time. And the reason I could have just not videotaped this, but but to show you that you can do other things while you, if you do have a glue gun that takes a second to start heating up, there's other things you can do while you're waiting. So I'm just getting one side attached, lining it up. I have a little glue on my fingertip there. I'm just folding it down to cover the middle. You can put whatever color. This is the color scheme I chose, but in your software you can change the colors. That's kind of why I don't... I know there's some design people like prefer to have their files by color, but I found myself as a crafter always changing the colors. So that's why my files are separated by the type of cut usually it is and not the color. So the tab is just, you see it just, I wasn't quite centered so I could see a little yellow but it, they're just like that so let's make sure that piece is on well. Let me close this glue so I don't dry this up. Get the glue gun. Looks like it's hot enough. So this, I would say make it between 1 and 1.25, probably about 1.1. And that's up to you how high you want it to be. So there's that one. This is a little bit too high, so maybe like 1.2. So you could just eyeball it. And if you wanted to find out how much you could really fit, because what I'm doing, I'm doing three of them like that, and then we'll do... The propeller and then two more. They're not in the order I'm going to have them on, but so it's a little bit longer than I want it to be in the inside. So um, if you need to trim it off, you go ahead and trim it off. So I'm going to cut a little piece off. So that's that's the nice thing about those these uh, cake pop things. I say that and it doesn't cut. <laughs> okay, because you only have a little bit of leeway in there. I only have it going in a little bit before I glue it. So what I'll do is this. I mean, you could do if you find a better way to do it. Oops, don't do that. Don't get glue gun on your finger. If you find a better way to do that, I mean, of course, by all means. This is the way that I found worked for me. I'm going to put a little in the middle, like, be careful with the heat, because you know that glue gets hot and stringy. So I'm going to line it in. I'm putting it in. I'm going to quickly put this in there. I put a glob in the middle so I could attach it to. See if I got it straight up here. So I gave you a little bit more room. This, this is a smaller piece. I'm going to put a little bit larger piece so it gives you a little bit more room. A little bit wider than that section. So if you wanted to push it down, you could push it down a little bit more. So kind of going around. I think it's about as good as I'm going to get. I keep on kind of eyeballing it make sure it's straight. So you could even put something in there that you could hold it like another bead underneath it and put glue in there. But see, it's attached. So we could put my glue gun away, make sure you turn it right off.
then this you could put right over here if you needed to. It's just a nice finishing touch. Let me just add that. And reinforcement because for some reason you're using something that's not really a heavy duty glue, not glue, paper. Um, then that just gives you a little bit more reinforcement. So just make sure this is secure enough. If you don't like it, honestly, just you need to remove it shortly after you try it. So this is just one of those things. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see the mechanism inside. So I decided not to to do it this way, and it seemed to work. And I figure it's a gift box. It's not something you use every day. So okay, so let's go ahead and add this. I'm going to put that aside. We'll do that last because we don't want to be messing with the propeller on it. So depending on the color you choose, you can put it wherever. I think it'll look good here just because the red's right here. Let's see. I think I like it with the, the orange and yellow. Let me just drop everything. So what we're going to do is stick it, glue it on the inside of this. Because this is curved, it's going to be pose just a little bit of a challenge to get it on. But if you do it step by step as I show you, then you should be okay. This could be in the way too, just so be careful of it. Or if you want to do it after you put this on, that's up to you too. I tried both. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, add glue to two of these end pieces here. Again, decide where you want to put it, with what colors. If you have one color, obviously it doesn't make a difference. We're going to go ahead and start with the end piece. And line it up all the way to the edge. And I'm just lining up this edge to the fold. And applying a lot of pressure. So you don't want to do this fast. You want to pay attention and really go tab by tab because you kind of you're bending it as you go. Now you can pull it back just a little bit. So make sure it's secure before you do this. And I'm adding glue to another like four tabs. I'll keep you track so I know when I have to add glue. So we're just attaching each tab up one time here. So this last piece is going to be right here. It's kind of curling like this, which a regular hat it would. So I'm just going to help it a little bit. So you can see kind of long. So this place you just want to, I mean this part you want to just uh, take your time. I'm not saying, like I said, curling it is going to help. So if you want, this might help too, is to, I normally wouldn't do this, but to get the other side angered, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on and it is awkward Those first two tabs placed I wanted a more rounder look on the front of this so that in order for you to do that it requires a little round there so so now we have all these attached. We can just pull them back. And I say just, okay? You're still going to be careful with it. I'm going to go from the other side. And I added glue to three of these tabs here. 
underneath. I'm like gently pulling in. I'm pulling it down. I'm pulling this down with my thumb as I attach them. And making sure there's no glue on my fingertips too. I got a little bit of glue. So you could go from one way or this way. Um, the reason I'm doing it this way is that the pressure is already on. So now I'm just trying to get it set in the middle. I'm trying not to get too much glue on the inside since I decided. I just want to make sure everything's secure. And at this point, we can go ahead and add these inside panels to cover those tabs. So you can go ahead and add those. Then we'll go ahead and add those and then I'll, I'll be back. So I realized it would be helpful to show you at least one panel. So I put all the rest of them in and I curled it so the texture is on the inside so the texture is on this side. And what I would do is line it up with the edge, kind of place it down into its section, I'm just making sure it's lined up, and then just do this. And then now all those tabs are hidden, and it looks way cleaner inside. And then we have the, I wouldn't recommend doing that, it might come apart, but if you did, you can just put a dab of uh, glue gun in there again, glue from the glue gun again. So we got our little glue gun heating up. So what we want to do right now, I'm just getting a heat gun, so we put the glue gun aside. And what I'm going to do, I'm using this craft board, metallic craft board from Cricut, made by Cricut. You could use cardstock, anything else like that. I'm going to use my little stylus thing because it's nice and round. What I'm going to do is curve this little end, curl it over on this side and this side to make it kind of give it curve. So this takes a little patience. So make sure that your uh, hat's far away. And be careful because this can get hot and I have it on a low speed. Get into focus. I'm going to heat it up a little bit because it makes it more pliable. You can see it's already kind of bending. Then I'm kind of gently trying to bend it without getting a crack in it. So this is just a process that you kind of have to go over and over again. You could just bend it, but if I just bend it, then it possibly may just crack. Some glue on my finger there. Some days it works better than others. And be careful because obviously this can burn the paper. So you don't want to start a fire. My safety warning. And this is not as pliable as cardstock, but because this is like a, a thicker cardboard, you see the cardboard backing? But I did this before. It was just a longer. It's just a long process. So 
So just continue to do it until it gets to the point that it's something that you like the look of it. So I'm going to work a little bit further on it, but I have a little bit of a bend in it. So regular cardstock wood is much easier than this, and I'm just dry curling it. So it's really just experimenting to see what works with different papers. And because I was discoloring this with a little heat, the first one didn't do that, but this one was doing it. It's always, you know, it's always the case when I'm on a video. So we're just going to leave it as is. And you can always do a little twist too. So there's ways to twist. Uh, there's techniques and stuff like that to twist things. Just like you do uh, if you're a flower maker, use the same techniques. So I kind of discolored that just a little bit with the heat, but that's okay. So now we're going to go ahead and add the beads. So I'm going to put three in the bottom and two on the top. But before that, we have these little reinforcements. Get to the side. And if you have a thinner cardstock that you used, um, they're just to do this. This is really not that necessary with this piece. But it's just to reinforce it at the place it turns. So you just stick one on the top and then one on the bottom. And usually you have double sided. Uh, paper, but because I use this, it's called a uh, craft board that Cricut manufactures. As of this video, because you never know when things will change. And then we'll go ahead and the first three, I'm going by colors, so I'm going to do, uh, we'll go orange rainbow from the red there. We'll do orange, yellow, green, and the, if you know one of the beads I'm using, I'm using a pony beads. These were from a, a Walmart it, from the U.S. if you're in the U.S. So um, I had to try to see if it would fit and it did. It fit the pop stick and, uh, and uh, um, just a generic skewer. Then I went ahead and put this on. So for the last two we're going to gosh darn it. Don't do that. I got a little glue gun on there but anyways it doesn't take it away from how to put it together. So the last one we're going to put these last two things up here and I'm just going to go ahead and see where that lands. I'm going to add just a little bit of glue, just a dot of glue at the bottom there. And then I think I'm going to do this one too. I don't want them to be next to each other. So I have a little bit of space. I just put a little bit of dot of glue just to keep them in place. And then now we have this. So that's basically the hat. Um, I did get a little glue gun. Be careful. Don't get any glue on your actual hat because it actually ruined the edge of this, but I will fix it. Um, there are quick fixes to these things. Uh, what I basically am going to do is cover it with another of these panels, but um, without redoing the whole thing. But that's, be careful of that. I'm just going to show you the big boot live boo boos. But it's still the same shape, so it's not different. So if you just want to give somebody a hat just for fun, just something fun, then you can do that. But here's a little box that you can make to go with it. Because I don't like to just make hats for the sake of making a hat. Most of my hats are boxes. They're not truly hats to be worn or anything. 
So we have these pieces. This is the bottom piece of the box. And that's the top piece. So we're just going to go ahead and fold this. And this is just so you can just make it a gift box. Again, if you don't want to use this, that's up to you. So now I have these little panels, and I'm going to put them in the same order. So this is the top. It has little cutouts, little cuts, marks that you can barely see. Um, that's so we can place the top piece of top box on easily. So it goes, since that's the top, then we're going to put the panels on like this. So if you want to put them in order of color, so to correspond to what's on the panels, or at least this is how I designed this. So it doesn't matter, it's going to rotate anyways. Oops. It just has a little bit of an edge, so just center it on the panel. So I'll do the red, yellow, orange on this side, and the green, blue, purple on the other. Just to tie that bottom piece into the top. So go ahead and add the rest of these and we'll put them together. So now I have those panels on, we're just going to go ahead and glue these together. So there's this little side tab, I'm going to glue these side tabs together. I'm just going to line this edge up to that fold. And then do the same on the other side. So you can just go flat with this. And then fold the other side over. Just make sure it's lined up. Could be always a little bit off just with the folds. So we're going to glue this top piece on first. So you can add glue to all the tabs at once. Just make sure you're putting on enough so it doesn't get wet before you uh, fold over that panel. I'm going to carefully start lining up the sides. I got a little glue on my fingertips. So I'm carefully lining that side up. Just get around as close to the edges as possible. Kind of pushing it in, and then if you're keeping it good and wet, you'll be able to get around. You don't want it too wet because you don't want it to ripple through. So now I've got it set in place. I can flip it over and reach inside. So because you can see the pressures needed for these. So when we put the bottom piece on. Obviously, we're not going to be able to apply pressure inside. So we have to do it similar technique. But what we'll want to do is to... I have to get the right one here. 
We'll attach one side first and then we'll do the same thing. And you kind of want them up a little bit because if they're up a little bit they'll touch so you'll, it'll help to apply pressure and um, solidify, you know, to, to put them together. I hate that when I lose words. Okay, so let's go ahead and just attach one. So here, here's a little trick I like to do. I'll do that. And then I want the texture to be on the bottom, so I'm going to glue on the non-textured. What I'm doing is, it's opposite for me because I'm trying to show on video, but I'm lining it up helping me to line it up and I'm just going to double check because I can really see it from that angle. It's not perfect but it'll do. What's what's a good tip and I, I put it, uh, what's a good tip is to be careful with the paper because I kind of tore it but I'm going to ink the edges a little bit after this. So um, that always not hides it, it gives a, a different look but it also hides any kind of imperfections on the edges. It enhances it. <laughs> oh. And I decided that um, I was hoping nobody's going to put something really heavy because if you do, it could co collapse this box. But you could always put a little rectangle box inside. I didn't include one, but if you have trouble, you could always contact me. So I'm just going to go straight across here first. Just rub around that tab. Then I'm just going to go around each side. I'm kind of pushing it in to line it up. That's where it was folded. And that was kind of squishing it out again because that was a little bit off. And then you can flip it over and apply pressure that way. A little glue. And then this is just a simple, simple box. So we're just going to fold it. Simple hexagon box to put on top. So we'll go ahead and just glue these pieces together. And then we'll fold that over. Then we're just going to put this panel inside because it'll glue. We're going to glue it inside and then glue on the top. So now we have this together, we're just going to add glue to the bottom of this and line it up to those little cut lines so we can get it right in the center. And if you do like projects like this, or this project, or in some of my others, if you give me a little thumbs up below, and if you want to see future projects or keep in touch with us to see some of our future designs, um, 
go ahead and click subscribe if you don't mind and you can even hit the bell and it'll tell you when we got a new new video out there. We also do tutorials here and there for Cricut and some other software and I'm trying to do more. So if you're interested in that, just make sure you hit that little notification bell and subscribe. Okay, so we want to be careful about how much pressure we put in there, so I'm just gently rubbing it on the inside. You don't want to put your full force because it's a hollow box underneath it. So here it is together. And so you can coordinate the colors on the top with the bottom box there. So you can hold it like this put a little birthday so I'm probably gonna just make a little birthday tag and put it there um, I'm kinda glad it happened so you can you can see the frustrations of everybody that has to deal with those kind of things um, but anyways so it's just a quick little box so it can make it a box so you can give it to somebody so it just sits loosely on there well I do hope you like this project and I thank you so much for watching until next time